Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you all of the free ways that you can spy on your competitors. For this video, you will need to know who your competitors already are. If you don't know, what I recommend you do is you search around some things in your niche and you find websites that appear consistently for good keywords. Once you have a competitor, this Google document will be in the description. You can follow along. What I like to do is the first thing you can do is just use their sitemap. And you can normally find a website's sitemap on the website.com slash sitemap.xml, which will normally take you to a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you can start to see how their website is constructed and which kind of parts of their website are bringing traffic. Once you've got this list, what you can do is you can take this onto ChatGPT, and in this case, you can use ChatGPT 3.5. You don't need to use 4. And you, and you can say, can you extract the keywords from this list of URLs? Then you just control V, the URLs. And what it'll do is it will just take all the keywords, basically. And once you've done that, if you really want to, if you don't trust that they're... SEO is good already. You can use a free tool like the Google Ads Keyword Planner, or I'm going to show you another one in one second, which is another free tool, which you can basically verify keywords with. So you can say best affordable watches, and you can see how many searches per month that has very, very quickly and very, very easily. You can see it has 1,000 to 10,000 searches every month. Another one is to use Ahrefs. If you just go on Google, type in Ahrefs keyword generator. This was a free tool. It is still a free tool. You can just say um, best affordable watches, for example, and you can see here the results and also some other keywords. A lot of people don't know that this is free and you can actually use the Ahrefs keyword generator completely free without paying anything. It's obviously not as good as the paid one, but it is very useful to know that that does exist. So that's one way to do it. And then I'm going to show you another way to find their sitemap in case they have a custom sitemap URL. You can do site and then their website. So in this case, redbubble.com. And then you can just write the word sitemap. Once you've done that, it should. The top result will normally be the sitemap. This is dependent on whether their sitemap is indexable on Google. But it is a good place to start if you cannot find their sitemap. Sometimes it's just going to be impossible to find a website's sitemap. If that's the case, just move on to the next method. So the next method is using search operators. So what we can do, I'm going to use Suits Expert again, just because I think it's a really, really good way to, to do this. So let's do site suitsexpert.com. You can see they only have 383 index pages, which is actually not that good at all. So I'm going to use a different example, I think. Okay, we're going to use uh, apetogentleman.com instead. So what you want to do is you want to see what their URL structure is, first of all. Um, so I'm going to look for their blog. Let's look here. Let's open style. Okay, so slash category slash fashion. This is the kind of thing that we want, obviously. So we're going to do, let's do slash fashion inside the, um, inside the search operator. So we'll do categories, I think it was. Let's just copy and paste this actually. And put this onto the end like this. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we have 42 results inside this. And let's have a little look at some of these and see if they're all the same, because apparently they are. They look very similar. This looks like it's just the same one over and over. So I need to actually open a blog. Ah, okay. So this is actually an impossible structure to spy on. So what we can do is we can just do siteapetogentleman.com. And then you can basically look through here to see uh, what is ranking. And I've found that Google does put these in some kind of order. Again, this is not a perfect example, so I'm going to quickly look for another example. Okay, so I just found this competitor, theadultman.com slash fashion and style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly that into Google. So site, theadultman.com slash fashion and style. 
And you can see that this very quickly and very easily gives us a list of basically the articles that they are writing at the moment. You can see they're kind of in chronological order. Already there's a good one here that I have not written, which I should have, which is the Ultimate Surfer Style Guide for Men in 2023. This is something that I haven't written and I definitely should have written by now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a very interesting way that I have talked about on this channel before of getting all of these keywords in one fell swoop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to ChatGPT again. This time we're going to have to use ChatGPT4 and I'm going to say give or make me a bookmarklet that uh, scrapes the titles from a Google SERP page and copies them to clip. Board. So what this will do is it will give me a little piece of code that uh, I'll show you exactly how it works in one second, but it's called a bookmarklet. And basically you just press one of these. I'm just going to delete all these actually. And yeah, basically you click the bookmark. So you right click at the top and click bookmark manager, right click here, add a new bookmark, write a name, so scraper. And then in the URL, we are going to put this little bit of code here. So we're going to copy code. And we're going to press save. And now if I go back to here and I press scraper, it should copy all of them to clipboard. And now we can go back to ChatGPT and we can say, for example, um, yeah, we're going to say extract the keywords from this list of titles. And we're going to hit enter. And it should do exactly the same thing as before. Yep. And you can check these one by one to see what's good, what's bad, etc., etc. So they seem to be doing a lot of reviews, which is interesting to me. Preppy clothing websites, that's an interesting one. I haven't used the word preppy once in any of my articles, so that's definitely a good one. Hoodies for men, pretty basic. Identify good versus bad quality footwear. That's a really good article idea, actually. And yeah, you can see this works incredibly well. It's free. You haven't had to pay for anything. Uh, I will even leave this uh, scraper code in the description somewhere so you will not have to use ChatGPT4. The final method is kind of paid but also not really paid. So this is what I would call the best free way to spy on your competitors and it is just getting a SEMrush free trial. Ahrefs used to have a $7 trial but what they do now is they may, they've made some of it like free so you, they don't offer a trial anymore however semrush still offers a trial and you can get a full guru plan for seven days for free without paying anything okay which is worth 449 dollars a month once you have this description sorry once you have this free trial you can download unlimited amounts of data pretty much from SEMrush, okay? So there is a way to export pages. I can't really show you because I don't have SEMrush, but the, I'll show you on Ahrefs because it's pretty much the same thing, although obviously it's not exactly the same. So what, let's say I want to spy on the adult man. We'll just use this as an example. So we put this here and you can click on keywords here and then you can just export them. It's exactly the same on SEMrush, it just looks a little bit different, okay? Super interesting. This would be an interesting... I should write this article. I should really write this article. So this is kind of... you. This is where you get the stuff that you don't really find anywhere else. But if I put this on any time and I put this on past week, for example, is Sigma here? It's not, okay? But you can basically do this for all of your competitors and you can see if there is a trend in what your competitors are writing. So I, personally, if I didn't want to spend any money per month, the first thing I'd do is I would get a SEMrush free trial and I would download all of the keywords from all of my competitors. Okay. The next step, I would do this into Google and I would put it on tools and put the past week or past month and I'd make a list of all of the articles that my competitors are writing or have written in the past month. If I can, and then probably what I would do is I would put all of that information to ChatGPT and I would ask 
it to identify trends, patterns, etc., and maybe give me some article ideas of its own. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my entire process of finding my competitors' free word, uh, keywords without paying. If you are wondering how I would then write the article, I already have an absolute metric ton of content on this. So if you just go on my channel, I currently have a fully up-to-date method for writing content, which is this video here, how I ranked on Google in under eight hours using AI SEO. This is currently my best performing GPT-4 prompt. This is how I'm ranking all of my content right now. And it's happened again. If you go on Google right now and type in European suit brands on Google, you will see that iSuit is somewhere near the top and you will also see that it was written six hours ago. I got this keyword showing, I got this keyword from one of the methods that I showed you in this video. It was actually search operators. I found it on a competitor's website. I looked at the keyword on Google Ads Keyword Planner. I found that it had good amount of searches and not that much competition. And now we are ranked first page across the world in just a few hours. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps and I hope this helps you rank on Google. Peace out.